Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath. Good day to Australia. We're talking about new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment from Australia. I've got a stack of four new releases, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here because Umbrella does this great thing with their pre-orders where if you pre-order from their site and you get in early enough, you can do a limited edition bundle with all these extra premiums. Um, cards and really neat stuff we're going to talk about these but they go fast and it's to encourage pre-orders so remember when you do order well, if you pre-order or just place an order at, um, at umbrella entertainment's website that's you want to use coupon code serial 15 to save 15 percent on your order that lets them know that you saw this coverage that the serial at midnight coverage of their releases connected with you uh don't forget to save money it's good for everybody it's good for you it's good for me um and it's good for Umbrella, too, which is the most important thing, because then they get to keep putting out sweet releases like the ones we're going to talk about. Uh, because these are new um, and they came from Australia, they're coming a few weeks after the release date. So I have not yet watched uh, these movies. I'm familiar with one of them. The other three I've never seen. So I'm excited about watching them, but I didn't feel like I had the time, the luxury of time to really dig into these before I came to you because this stuff sells out so fast. I think most of these bundles are now sold out, but you can pre-order the bundles that are up for the next month or so. Um, so let's just dive right into it. I've got, uh, let's see, we'll kick it off with Midnight Spares. This is the Ozploitation Classics number 19. Midnight Spares, um, a car movie, an action movie. Here, let me flip this around and show it to you. As I said, I wanted to unbox all of these with you on camera because I really think that with what Umbrella is doing, um, that's part of the appeal here is to see the hype stickers and everything. So we got an exclusive Midnight Spares comic book. These are done by Dark Oz. Here, I've got the product listing pages open for a lot of these. So exclusive 16-page comic book adaptation from Dark Oz. Uh, I am talking to Dark. I've been talking to Dark Oz for a couple of months now. We're going to do an interview about the comics industry, about comics in Australia, and about adapting these exploitation classics films for the comics medium. So stay tuned for that. That's well underway. I should be filming that hopefully within the next few days. Uh, so new 16-page comic book, audio commentary. Here, I'm not going to read all this to you. You can read it for yourself. My goal is to never read to you what you can read for yourself. So you see here, right, region A, B, and C. All right, let's dig into this release because we've got a lot of other things here for Midnight Spares to talk about. Hopefully all this art is safe. Sometimes these Australian uh, art wraps are not always safe for YouTube and I have to I'm like, oh, all right, here's the interior artwork of Midnight Spares. People in Australia, people in New Zealand, talk to me about these movies. Obviously... I don't know them like you do. So I want to know this. <laughs> That's amazing. That's pretty iconic. Can I show everything here? I think I can. Here's the comic book. All right, so there's our interior. Here is the Dark Oz comic. One of the things I want to ask is how challenging is it to adapt a film into one single issue comic and these aren't even you know like 32 page comics oh there's skin in this comic gotta go i gotta be careful all right so here there's the comics uh or the comic book and then we also have this is amazing this midnight spares you put this on your car what do they call this this is a here i can take it out of this packaging i got the the bundle here uh car emblem so this is a Midnight Spares car emblem. That's amazing. If I drove around with this on my car in the United States, I don't think anybody would know what it is. But is this movie super recognizable in Australia? If someone saw a Midnight Spares emblem on a car, would they be like, oh, it's from that movie? Or would they be like, huh? It also comes with uh, lobby cards and the Daybill poster. Here's the Daybill poster. I love these Daybill posters. And I got to say, this is the one, this Daybill poster has arrived immaculate. Frequently, they'll have, you know, some bent corners or something for me, which shows up in the video. This one is crisp and, uh, and really sharp. Sorry. So there's our Daybill poster. And here are our lobby cards. And it also has, uh, looks like an A3 poster as well. 
Is this the A3 poster? Yeah, so here's the another poster. This was the the limited edition, you guys. This was the um, the collector's edition, which I believe is sold out now. But you can still get Midnight Sparrows from Umbrella. But and it's going to come with everything. You know, comes with a comic right now. Comes with the uh, you know, everything we just unboxed there. But these these extra premiums, like the car emblem, those are the those are those limited bundle exclusives. So here's our lobby cards. So this is going to be challenging because they're I don't I don't like to take. Let me see if I can get this. Just slide it off there. All right. These are not, these look like actual lobby cards. These are really high quality. The mob pushed him too far. Now they're gonna bust a million dollar racket called Midnight Spares. We could also talk about how um, things like this are helping to keep physical media alive because there is no substitute for this experience with digital. If you have the movie digitally, that's one thing, but you can't have like this is for collectors. This is for people that love this movie, that own this movie, and that want to uh, celebrate this movie. All right, now I got to try to get this back on. Maybe this is better done off the air. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. That was relatively easy. All right, I'm going to pack all this stuff. Hold on. Pack all this stuff back up. No, I really want to know from you guys, uh, what is the legacy of Midnight Spares in Australia? Is this a um, cult classic? Just a classic? Let me know. And we can continue. All right, I'll do this later. <laughs> I'll do this after we finish the video. We're moving on. Hold on, let me close my tabs out here. We are moving on to Sons of Steel, which is part of the Beyond Genres line. This is Beyond Genres number 23. I love this line. Beyond Genres is a good description because these movies can range. They're not just one thing. They are sci-fi or they are horror or they are thriller or they're, they're multiple things all at once. And again, another movie that I'm not familiar with. Uh, Sons of Steel includes exclusive 48 page booklet and CD soundtrack. So that's what you get uh, when you order it. You know, if you just get the unit, if the bundle is sold out and you just get the unit, you're, you're still getting this. But we also have, well, here, I'll save that for just a second. So we've got this around we have uh the feature presentation and its original aspect ratio alternate opening gate feature presentation in the 133 aspect ratio the making of sons and seal mtv goes to the australian premiere access all here i'm reading to you what you can read for yourself i'm doing the thing i don't like to do freeze it read it notice abc it doesn't matter that i say this at the beginning of every video someone always asks do they play in there? Because I guess people don't watch. They click the video, they comment on the video, but they don't watch the video? I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, here's Sons of Steel. Let's see, here's our soundtrack. The premise of this movie, by the way, is pretty fantastic. It involves the apocalypse it involves hair metal it involves black alice all right so we take that away here's our track listing oh there's a lot of reflective surfaces here well, there's our track listing and here is the illustrated excerpt from book one of the sons of steel series of novels black alice an aussie time traveling larrikin rocker This is amazing. And here's, can I show all this? Yeah. Telling you guys, this is just quality. All right, but it's not just the movie. It's not just all of this. Hold on, there was something under here. Oh, here's more stuff about the soundtrack. Okay. This also comes with, hold on, let me pull up. Uh, a tote bag, the CD soundtrack, the prequel booklet, A3 poster, postcards, and stickers. Okay, so here is the tote bag. Oh, I'm dropping things. Ugh. Here's the tote bag. This is our Sons of Steel tote bag. 
hold on, let me do it like this. Sons of Steel tote bag. And on the other side, it says that it's our pocket nuclear shelter. <laughs> Maybe I'll take this to the grocery store next time I get groceries and the old ladies will be like, oh, look at that young man. All right, and here is our, the the paper goods. The, uh, tote, the uh, prequel booklet, no, we did that. The A3 poster, the postcards, and the stickers. Yeah, here's our stickers. Here's, oh, this is double-sided. So here's one side. And there's the other side. And our cards here, our postcards. Come on, we're almost there. All right. What in the world? As someone who has not watched this movie yet, I am intrigued. This movie looks amazing. And I can't show you the last one here. I will do this. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I know what just went to the top of the stack here. All right. I'll pack all this up after we finish recording. Um, let me close that tab out. Cloak and Dagger. Now, this is a movie people are going to say... Heath, that just got a 4K release, but not on Australia. Remember, these are Australian releases for an Australian market. And because they're region ABC, anybody that wants them gets to play. Not everybody wants the 4K, and I understand that. So uh, Cloak and Dagger includes exclusive 3D cover art, uh, 3D plus 3D glasses, and a 16-page booklet. But there is more, because there's also, with this limited bundle, the collector's edition, it comes with... Uh, a pewter figure, a 3D poster, and lobby cards. Here's the pewter figure. I'll get that. Let's see if it'll focus. That's pretty amazing. I, of all the collector's editions I've seen, you know, people are getting more into lobby cards, they're getting more into the posters and things like that. I've never seen anybody do a pewter figure. That's pretty special. Oh, here, I'll, uh, well, I'll get the, the wrapping off first. This is one of those movies from the 80s. So this is a movie that I'm familiar with because this is a classic 80s movie. Uh, in the 80s, there was all this, like, Cold War come to life stuff. So, like, Gotcha was one of those. Um, war games, probably? Shall we play a game? And Cloak and Dagger is another one of those where, like, it's the world is at stake, but he thought it was a game. So here's Cloak and Dagger. The front, this is 3D. Where are my 3D glasses? Here's the back of the box. You can check out all the special features. And here's our interior here. I'll just, oh, there, there's my, here we go. Oh yeah. Let's see, pop this booklet out. Atari, cloak and dagger. By the way, total side note, have you guys seen this Atari 50th anniversary collection that's, uh, as I'm recording this, it's out like now. Just came out. Movies by Gaslight, The Making of Cloak and Dagger by director Richard Frank Franklin. Goodness knows, I love a booklet. I love reading about the movie. All right, well, we're not gonna be able to replicate the 3D effect here in this video, but just know that with those glasses, this is in 3D. And our poster, we have a poster here and the lobby cards. So let me, I like that they're in these, uh, these little envelopes as well so that I can keep them safe, keep them secret, keep them safe. All right, here's our one side. This is our 3D poster. And the other side, it is a double-sided poster. 
Very, very cool. More art cards here. Which side is the closest to? This video is <laughs> running longer than I thought it would. Uh, okay. These are so nice. They're sized larger than I'm used to uh, replica lobby cards being sized. They just look really good, and they're this thick cardstock, too. And the last one here. Okay. I'll pack it all up after I finish. Last, well, hold on, let me close my tab out here. Last but not least, Spotswood. Uh, the cast on this thing, you guys, Anthony Hopkins, Ben Mendelsohn, Tony Collette, Alwyn Kurtz, I'm not sure if I know who that is, with Rebecca Rigg and Russell Crowe. Are you not entertained? That's what he says about Spotswood. Are you not entertained? Uh, a film by Mark Joffe. So, again, never seen this movie. This is a sunburnt screens um release number 21 and the i've done my research on the movie and it sounds really great so anthony hopkins is a very severe strict uh business leader and he comes into these companies and just like lays everybody off fires everyone reduces the workforce by the way bonus bonus soundtrack cd inside and uh he goes to this new place this new factory and ends up falling well does he soften by seeing the relationships with the people that work there that's the thing it's one of those kinds of movies but anthony hopkins what year was this this was um pre-silence of the 1991 holy crap so we're getting right up on that silence of the lambs era and you couldn't ask for a more different role okay so tons and tons of special features here here's the i'll hold the cover up for you flip it around can you guys read that I hope that you can. What all do we have here? New 4K scan from the original elements, alternate efficiency expert cut in full frame, the efficiency expert introduction by director Mark Jaffe, all new memories of spots. But this is, wow. And then the CD of the original score here. Let me, here's our Blu-ray. Here's our CD. And it looks like we have, we do, we have reversible a reversible art wrap. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Wow, that is, uh, that's the latest releases from Umbrella Entertainment. This is not everything that they do. This is just what I was offered to show you guys. They also continue to uh, release um, their six shooter classics. Western, you know I'm a huge Western fan. I wish that I could talk about those too. But I'm a huge Western fan. They continue to release. In fact, I did a spotlight on the six shooter classics line where I talked about at least a dozen of them. Uh, I love that they are keeping Westerns alive because as we know, Westerns as a genre uh, are not always the, the coolest or the sexiest. We've got revisionist Westerns, but just old Westerns can really fall through the cracks and they're not particularly well preserved because they're not well regarded. They're not huge sellers is what it comes down to. So Umbrella continues pretty much every month to continue to move forward with their uh, their six shooter classics. And I love that. War films, noir films, they're doing a lot of other stuff besides just what we talk about here. So remember, code Serial15 saves you 15% on your order at Umbrella and it lets you know, lets them know that Serial at Midnight sent you over there. Guys, let's talk about these movies. I really want to know what you think about them if you've seen them. Uh, let's, this is my, this is what I want to say as often as possible. Let the comments of this video be like hanging out at the video store where we're recommending things. Oh, have you seen so-and-so? That's a great use of the comments other than just, you know, first or, you know, really having a conversation with the community. That's what I want those to be for. So thank you guys. Thanks to Umbrella Entertainment. Until next time, I will catch you later.